Hi, welcome to my channel, where I'll be sharing my knowledge on programming the DJI Tello drones with Python. Today, we're going to look at reading data from Tello drones. And to do this, we're going to open the SDK and see what types of data there is to read from the drones. And then we'll look at the Tello class of the DJI Tello Pi library and see what methods allow us to get this data so that we can use it in a program and display it to our drones video feed window. Now, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we're going to start in the SDK and we're going to look at the section on the information we're going to be reading, which has to deal with the Tello state. Now, the state information we are concerned with is its pitch, roll, and yaw angles, its velocity in three-dimensional space, its acceleration in three-dimensional space. Believe it or not, we acquire this all through one sensor of the, of the drone, and that is its inertial measurement unit, or its IMU. Now, aside from what we get from the IMU, we're also going to be looking at uh, reading the minimum and maximum temperatures of the main board, its height off the ground, its uh, battery percentage levels, the reading from its onboard barometer, and lastly, we're going to be reading its, the time that the motors are running. All right, here we are in PyCharm, and I've got this script prepared to, for reading our data and displaying it on our video stream window. In this script, I wrote one function to get the orientation data, as I have as I decided to name it. I named this orientation data because all of these state fields are a product of the drone's inertial measurement unit. So these all deal with how it is oriented as a point in three-dimensional space. So for each of these state fields, we create a variable called the same name as what is being measured. And then we call the get pitch, get roll, get yaw, etc. methods of the Tello class. Let's take a look here. So here's the Tello class, and here's our get pitch. It says that we get the pitch in degrees, and it returns it as an in integer. Similarly, for our velocities, we can get those along each axis and return them as integers. Pretty much all of the states and the methods for reading them are syntaxed in the same way. One note for the orientation data is that the velocities are returned in decicentimeters per second. So converting to meters per second, we're going to use a conversion factor of 0 0.1. This is a more understandable measurement than decicentimeters. It's not necessary, but it's important to look in the module itself and ensure you understand what types of units are returned by the methods of the Tello class. So that's our uh, function for getting orientation data. Now there are a lot of other state fields. We're going to get the rest in this function here. We call this get status data. In this function we get the active motor time with a similar fun similar syntax get flight time. We get the battery level with the get battery method, height, time of flight, minimum maximum temperatures, average, and barometer. These are all methods that are a such a similar syntax that I really do not want to go into the details. I want you to know, though, that you should look in the Tello module and read the comments. For example, to get barometer, the current barometer measurement is in centimeters, and it resembles the absolute height, or the attitude, uh, which is an aviation term. So the get status data function, this returns all of these states as named variables with uh, the same name as the state, essentially. Now, these functions we're going to use in our process hello video function we coded in a previous video. So we start out the function similarly with a while loop that continuously loops until we break out of it. And now what are we looping over? We're going to first loop over all that orientation data. I forgot to mention that this function, unlike the status data, it just prints to the console. We're not returning anything. That would uh, jumble our video feed too much, I believe. And really, this is all for all intents and purposes just to, to understand how this data is acquired. It's more likely you would be saving this orientation, uh, orientation data in the CSV file so that you could go over it. Uh, say you're tuning a PID controller for the drone. That would be a scenario where you'd want this orientation data. Um, okay. 
So enough rambling. Back to process televideo. So we get our orientation data. That's going to constantly be printed to our console down here. And after that, we're going to continue with our typical process video and get the current frame using the drones get frame read method called on the current frame. After getting our current frame, we're going to go ahead and initialize variables for each of the variables returned in our get status data so that we can then use OpenCV's put text method to show them on the video feed window. I'm going to quickly just state that the put text method, it takes the uh, image or frame to write the text on as the first argument, followed by the text to write, the origin to put the text, font face, font scale, color, thickness, and line type. There's more, but I'm not going to go into the details. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I will note that I am positioning the text starting in the left left upper hand corner of the screen and I'm going to increment for each state field we're going to increment 25 units down in the y direction so for all of these states that don't deal with uh, or aren't received by the IMU or aren't measured by the IMU of the drone we're going to put those onto our video feed window as open CV text after doing all that we want to go ahead and then show it right same way as before we're going to show it and then we're going to continue to loop through updating the frame updating the text on it until the user presses the Q key at which point we break from the loop now similar to when we learn to stream video we're going to have a main function that initializes our drone connects to it turns the stream on and then begins processing the video now, we're not going to be taking off or doing any uh, control commands in this video as uh, it's a little bit too complex when working with so many uh, with so many commands being sent to the drone. I know they're just read commands, but I don't want this all to get too confusing for those just getting started. For now, we're going to just put it on the screen and then while we're testing it, you'll see me in the feed and I'll raise the low and lower the drone so we can see the height measurement. We'll see the battery measurement on the screen likely change by one or two percent and the other states might not change but they will be there and we will know that they're working based off of the ones that are changing so let's get into that next okay so i'm connected to the telos wi-fi and we're going to go ahead and execute our program and then hopefully here you will be seeing my face in the drone's camera feed I might have to open the window here. You will see its initial, oh, there it is. Okay, so our RMU readings are constantly updating in the console. And if we give the frames here a time to catch up, you can see that my face in the feed is updating as well. Now, looking to the video stream, you can see the active motor times zero seconds because we haven't flown. The battery level at 66% is likely to change still. And you can see the different barometer readings changing, the different temperature readings are changing. If I move my hand from the bottom sensor, we get a better time of flight reading. And yeah, so it's all working. And uh, we've read all the data.